Good evening, this is Tom Brennan. One of the most frequently asked questions among human beings is, hey, what kind of music do you like? When people ask me, hey Brennan, what kind of music do you like? Invariably I answer, Frank Zappa. I'd like to share with you now a poem I wrote the day Frank died back in 1993. I wrote it on the spur of the moment. It's called Homage to Frank Zappa, and it goes like this. The first word of this poem is discorporate. Discorporate means to leave the body. And now that you have left your body, let us remind everyone you've also left a massive body of work behind. Free thinker, free speaker, free spirit, and all that guitar, guitar, guitar. Shut up and play your guitar. This is the day the water turned black. You told them all not to eat the yellow snow, but now that's all they eat. Snoop Doggy Dog's a little pimp with his hair gas back and a pair of khaki pants and his shoe shine black. And Frank Sinatra and the paparazzi and Kenny G. They're all plastic people. Oh, baby, now you're such a drag. You know, I need the return of Monster Magnet to get me out of this headache. Get me out of this black hole migraine. And the present day composer still refuses to die because he left 53 albums and 200 motels behind. You know the giraffe spurting shaving cream says more than all the gangster rap and grunge combined. Frank, it was your powerful refusal to be straight-jacketed into fashion or to seek social context. It's the Dada lesson to us all. And Dada is the mother of all art forms. The de deconstruction of all that came before into a conceptual continuity that will live on and on and on. I wish I could fire spit words like your guitar solo on 200 years old, fire spits notes. I wish I could reverie transport like your guitar solo on Inca Roads. Free thinker, disciplined composer, you sculpted the air mass around you so deftly into an architectonic cathedral of notes. And then you churned pure voltage from your guitar to back it up. This country is 200 years old, so mean it can't grow no lips. And learn the pachuco hop and let me twirl you. Learn the pachuco hop and let me twirl you. There she is over by the jukebox, packing up, just like she got true religion now, boys. And this town is a sealed tuna sandwich. You can look it up in these society pages. So how do I thank you for Johnny Guitar Watson on San Berdu? Or Miss Pamela's half a dozen provocative squats? Or your Broadway opera, Thingfish, which was the true story of our times? Or getting Lennon to sing scumbag, scumbag, scumbag. The ugliest part of the body is still the mind, and flower power still sucks. And I put money in it for the only, and even though all of us are only in it for the moment, the combustible moment, with all the vile, foamy liquids. Hey, are these the vile, foamy liquids that Don Preston invented in Uncle Meat? frothing around us. We put money in it for the only, and now I'm absolutely free to freak out like you all are. I want to be Uncle Meat. Yeah, and the hot rats and the weasels both ripped my flesh, too. I have drunk the lumpy gravy and the vile, foamy liquids, and I'm better for it. And later that night, she Frenched my fries. Tell us about those anchovies, George Duke, on Times Beach. Times Beach. Time, the arbitrary invention of your character, Robert Quentin de Nameland. I need me some water, some HTO, and that girl must be practicing witchcraft. Susie Cream Cheese, oh baby now, what's got into you? Because I too now have no commercial potential. Just art like the runaway gears of a runaway train to the heart of the matter, staring into the black hole making the eye of Horace blink. And everybody got a doll with a little rubber head. You rinse it out every night just before you go to bed. 
All the prim Puritans wanted to tattoo you. They wanted to throw so much crap on you till you started to fertilize and cultivate the artistry around you. Everybody getting their own little doll with a little rubber head. You know, when a giant like you dies, there is no one to fill the void. All these fake American Rasta dummies and the fake deadhead dummies are all wired up to the machine of commerce. They aren't going to pick up the slack. They're all namby-pamby pygmies. And I wish I had a pair of bongos. Bongo Fury. I shook your hand at the Poly Pavilion when I was 14. Frank, you had been a part of my life for 24 years, scaring and angering and challenging the simpletons. You were a brain that worked overtime for anyone else who could think and laugh at the same time. Almost a genetic impossibility nowadays. But let me mutate and my brain snout keep it expanding. Maybe she'll eat my burnt weenie sandwich. Muffin Man meets the Valley Girl. I'd still rather go to Cantor's than to the Viper Room and show them all my icing anointment utensil. Cause she got a Jones Crusher love, deadly jaws, you better get the gauze. And Frank, you stood up to the runway of all the models of Republicans like Zipper Whore and the Congress and the likes. You stood up for the likes of George Michael and Prince when they wouldn't stand up for themselves, when it was war. And you said, take your warning stickers and shove them, and you can take these stickers too, because I'm wearing a morning of, a ribbon of mourning and celebration to both the size of this life. And you can lick my decals off, baby, because you can't put any warning stickers on me. You can lick all our decals off, baby, and not try to put any warning stickers on us. Yeah, when people ask me what my favorite music is, I invariably say Frank Zappa because he proved that you could be furious, intelligent, and funny, and also raise your kids to be free thinkers, too. And this is a testament to you. And I gotta thank you, too, for putting Ruth Underwood and George Duke and Jean-Luc Ponty and Artie Tripp in the band, and also for doing Trout Mask Replica and telling us it was the blimp, the blimp. Frank, the mothership's the one. It's the big hint. It's the big hit, the blimp, the blimp, the drazy hoops, the drazy hoops, the one. It's the blimp. Oh, mother, stop your crying. It's the blimp, the blimp. And thank you for putting Steve Vai and Adrian Ballou and all the other baby stakes who are still shedding their skins now into the band. The innumerable alumni, all the great singers like Ray Collins and Napoleon Murphy Brock and Ike Willis and Bobby Martin. Metal Man has got his hornet's wings. Metal Man has got his hornet's wings. It's the blimp, the blimp, the mothership's the one. Tweet, tweet, and all the gypsy mutant industrial vacuum cleaners still dance about mysterious midnight campfires. And there will come a time when you don't even have to be ashamed if you are fat. Who cares if hair is long or short or sprayed or partly grayed? We know that hair ain't where it's at. There will come a time when you can even take your clothes off when you dance. Yeah, there will come a time when you can even take your clothes off when you dance. Because you still want to make her do a nasty on the White House lawn. There will come a time when you can even take your clothes off when you dance. So that's who my favorite music is. The music of Frank Zappa, and that was a simple salute to him. But then we decided to take our camera take my voice on down to the Santa Monica Promenade and do a random scientific sampling of opinions of people in the street and ask the all-important question, just who is your favorite music? Your favorite We're once again on the Santa Monica Promenade at the Italian Food Festival. Uh, we have two excellent guests, Cheryl and Don. Don. Don, pleasure. And Carol, Don, okay. Hey. And Carol, Carol. going to speak finally and this to the is world. Christine. <laughs> Starting from left to right, I guess, just for camera's sake. Your very favorite music. My very favorite music uh, would probably be um, the blues. Blues. Any particular artist, like B.B. King or <laughs> Robert Cray? No. So but, the... Well, no. More Grateful Dead. Who? Oh, Grateful Dead. Yeah. To dead but not blues. Well, you, <laughs> you were in Vegas dead. last year. I was in Vegas every year. Oh, yeah. Right. I think I saw you. I was there. I was the, I was the good dancer. I was spinning. Are you a spinner really around, like, in the lobby, and you're like, you don't look no. at Jerry because he's God, and everything? No. 
No, I just dance and have a good time. Grateful Dead is my favorite. The very first vote for the Grateful Dead today, shockingly. <laughs> is there like a favorite Dead song? <laughs> or, uh... Um. I like Cassidy. Cassidy, that's good. Mm -hmm. Here comes Sunshine. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Do you yeah. have a favorite cover that the dead do, like Dancing in the Street or something else? That would be Lucy in the Sky. Oh, are they closed? Yes, the they closed the last show in Vegas, Friday's show. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> See, everybody gets wally when okay, the second right, next, starts next, to congregate. Next, next, yeah, next, 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 yeah. Charlotte was known as the incredible outspoken one of this group, I suppose. Is that right? Yes, right. yes. Charlotte's going to lay it on you now. Her very favorite music is going to shock you, probably. My favorite music is definitely Ella Fitzgerald. Wow. That's awesome. Very first vote for Ella Fitzgerald. Mm -hmm. Is there a favorite Ella song that you listen to? Like Miss Otis Regrets. Miss Otis Regrets. Love her. Cheryl. Love her. Cheryl, <laughs> Cheryl came <laughs> through in her own inimitable fashion. <laughs> And your very favorite, I'm sorry, you didn't get it. Carol. Carol. I have two favorites. Miles Davis and Jody Mitchell. Wow, now we're getting to the meat, finally. That's a, that's a good... That's a very good pairing. Yeah, actually. it is. Yeah. Is there a very favorite Joni track, like Amelia or... I don't want to my, favorite, my favorite Joni track is um, My Secret Place. I like Twisted, actually. I like Twisted. Twisted? Cool. Actually, that was the best album ever. So great. Spark is the fucking best. Wow, excellent. Yeah, Joni should tour more often. If you had anything to say to Joni, what would you say to her? Stop hanging out with Prince? Or <laughs> 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 Prince? No. Yeah, you know, Prince flies her around in his private jet. Do you know that? Prince is, his very favorite artist is Joni Mitchell. He should be. And they have, like, this secret, uh, he's been trying no, to get I her to collaborate, that. actually, and do a back thing. She's collaborated with Seals. Uh, I would just tell her, her. I would tell her that she she has probably every ever in my life. I love her. Everything she's written, her lyrics, she has beautiful voice, beautiful voice. She's she's, she's sustained throughout the years. Wow. She's, she's like Miles Davis. She's sustained throughout the years. She went from she started at folk and she's she's still very contemporary. She's just not mainstream. Do you like her more on guitar or on piano? Or is uh, that a doesn't question? matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I like both. May I tell you how she first came to Los Angeles? Sure. Uh, she came down from Canada mm -hmm. to it's stay. A yeah, she had a boyfriend, Motorhead Sherwood, mm -hmm. who was baritone sax with the original Frank Zappa's Mother's Invention. Right. And he enticed her. He, he told me, you've got to come out to Los Angeles for a tour. I know. <laughs> did you hear that? And Zappa did love Joni Mitchell. That's great trivia. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's really cool. She lived with Zappa at the Log Cabinet at Laurel Canyon with Motorhead and Zappa for life. Oh, really? Wow. And finally, Christine. Christine, Christine thank you. Yeah, right. Thank you for being on Studio 13. Christine, your favorite music in the world? I would have to say Peter Gabriel and Annie Lennox. Wow, there's kind of like a very interesting theme here. Progressive, <laughs> jazz and music. music. Yeah, Peter Gabriel did a great collaboration. Great, that was my, one of my favorite videos. Do you have a favorite Peter Gabriel track? Um, I like Vico. Wow. A lot. Um, his whole solo album, I love. Wow. DOA is a good one. Excellent. It's been the best group we've had so far. <laughs> if you had anything to say to Peter Gabriel, what would you say to him? I'm just milking this because you guys are the most eloquent. So. <laughs> I would say get rid of Sinead O'Connor. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed it. Get rid of Sinead O'Connor. You hear that, Peter? Get rid of Sinead O'Connor. <laughs> She's just no damn good, even though she yeah. is Irish. And That's the only good if you had anything to say to Jerry, what would you say to Jerry? I can't say it on TV. <laughs> no, say it. Go right into the top scene. Do you have a secret Hans thing for Jerry? Hans joint with me. <laughs> If you were with Jerry and we're smoking a joint together in a very intimate place, what music would you have on that wasn't great for you? Was Traveler maybe? Or, um... Yeah, I like Was Traveler.